Well, first and foremost, congratulations to, uh, to Yale and the effort that they put in today. Um, they certainly uh, were just the better team today. And, uh, good luck to them on uh, Monday. Um, as for my team, I couldn't be more proud of the effort that we've put in all year. From uh, September you know, to this time, my group has worked uh, extremely hard. And they've become extremely close to each other. Uh, and it's just been a pleasure to be around. Today just wasn't our day. Didn't have a great day, unfortunately. Uh, and, uh, and they did. So that's all to them, like I said. And uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, to next year with our group. But uh, just have to thank my seniors. And uh, we have Connor here, but he's one of 11 seniors that have contributed to our program uh, to an amazing level. Three quarter final appearances, uh, a final four appearance. Uh, and an opportunity to play for a national championship, and uh, that's all you can ask for your kids. And I was, uh, again, thrilled to have Connor come back and play after injuring himself earlier in the year. Um, you people have no idea what this young man has been through for the last month and a half, and uh, we could not be more proud of him for leading our team and uh, being a warrior and playing with a really serious injury. So, um, again, I thank my, my assistant coaches, Liam Gleason, Mary Thompson, Derek Eccles, um, the entire staff, my president was here today, President Rodriguez, my boss, Mark Benson, and um, just the opportunity to coach at Albany is a privilege, and uh, looking forward to uh, attacking next year. Thank you. NPS Nonprofit Services has the technology and know how to achieve your nonprofit goals. We have all the tools that you need for your nonprofit to be successful, including tech support, consulting, development strategies, and business continuity to make sure your data is safe on prem or in the cloud anywhere all the time. Call NPS at 877 797 8776. We're easy to reach and easy to work with. Questions for the student athletes? Sorry, left top. Mike Davidson, SwissSports.com. Connor, um, you knew, I mean, the Yale's kind of their bread and butter's kind of been their defensive unit all year. Um, with the exception of kind of that middle portion of the second quarter where you guys cut it down to four, it just seemed like they, you couldn't quite figure out what they were doing. Was there something in the scheme that you guys just couldn't figure out? What were they showing you that was so hard for you guys? Um, yeah, credit Yale. Um, whole team played great. Defensively, they played really solid. I think in the first couple, first couple quarters, throughout the game, honestly, we had a lot of mental errors. Um, offense had just throw the ball away, some passes, or some stuff. Um, I think that we, we kind of went out the game plan, and we just didn't execute that game plan. Uh, they played great on defense, but I just think we left a lot on the table out there. Yeah, please raise your hand if you have any questions. Top. Connor, just my observation uh, after the game was it felt like you didn't want to leave the field. Uh, I know you wanted to say hello and thank you to some fans and sign some autographs, but was there a sense that as soon as he left that field that it would, you know, really be over? It's tough. Uh, I love it here. Uh, I couldn't have asked for a better opportunity. Any more questions? Uh, TD, um, just first time for the program being here. For the guys who get to come back next year, what do you try to take from this experience? Um, I mean, it's an unbelievable event. Uh, I mean, you can't, it's the, the mecca of the sport. Uh, you want to be here. I mean, I know everyone watches growing up, and it's just it's an unbelievable experience. Um, and I mean, to do it with a team like us, it's just unreal. So I think uh, I think we did everything right, uh, preparation, and I think you take that away. And you see the hard work it takes in the off season, and that extra stuff when no one's looking. And you got to really take that and move with it, and just use this as a stepping stone and try to get here in the years to come. Um, I just think it was. I mean, it wasn't our day last year. The quarterfinals wasn't our day against Maryland. And, I mean, we just try to move past that, and uh, I think we took a big step this year as a program, so try to do another one. Connor, you know, I know you had some great mentors here, you know, when, when you were a freshman and sophomore. Now that you've taken that role, what's maybe some of the message that you have had, you know, to
to the guys who were kind of killing the baton for all the people. Um, are you just talking about after this? After this? Uh, just, to, just to keep it going, uh, know what this feels like. Obviously, Coach, I know what it feels like to get here. Um, I know what it feels like to lose, too. Uh, and I think we've grown a lot of program throughout the years, and just to keep, just keep growing. Um, we're a family here, and even though all the seniors are leaving, we saw all, all the family we have in this, in, the, in this crowd with all our alumni and our family and everything. So we're still going to be a part of the family as seniors, and we're still going to be coming and supporting all the time. And uh, just, we just wanted to keep it rolling. Any more questions for the student athletes in the back? Connor, I know this is tough now, but when we look at the season as a whole, the day train, all of that, do you feel like you guys really left your mark and put you all in lacrosse on the map in an even bigger way? Uh, I mean, in a, in a sense, maybe. Uh, yes, because we uh, got to the final four, but I think uh, the Thompsons did a great job with that. Um, a bunch of teams in the prep period previous years a great, did a great job with that. I think we just try to keep keep uh, keep growing as a, as a team and just trying to keep pushing. And I mean, I'm so proud of my teammates. Uh, proud of Culper, say I'm on this team, and uh, couldn't ask for better coaching staff. Um, I love it here, and it's definitely really hard to go. Up front. Connor, even more so than this season, when you get a chance, I know it's too immediate now, but when you get a chance to take a look back on your career, what are going to be some of the memories that you cherish? I just think um, just being with the guys, um, doesn't that be a, a game in a sense? I mean, practices I had so much fun at. Um, we worked hard, it was just great being with the guys. Obviously, there's some fun games to be a part of. Um, this game, obviously. Uh, UNC last year. I mean, there's so many great games we've been a part of, but um, I think just the memories are with just with my teammates and my coaches. Um, I had so many great times here, and um, I wouldn't trade for anything. Up front. TD, is it kind of an expectation now at this point to be back here for the next season? Um. Yeah. For, uh, it's like. I mean, it's, uh, the goal is to get back and win it, though. I mean, not satisfied with getting here, but definitely just to get back here. It's uh, we won't really accept anything less. Up front, Scott uh, Patrick Stevens with Cross Magazine. From your perspective, what was it that Neil was doing to get as many looks in the middle of the field as it was there, especially in the front? That's a that's a tough one. I mean, we honestly we we didn't play great. So, I mean, the bottom line is that, that uh, you know, they played better than us. They made plays. Um, we just, uh, unfortunately, you know, just didn't have a great day. Um, they, they, you know, it's a good offense. You know, they had one of the best players in Ben Reeves uh, running the show, and Jackson Mall was outstanding. He went to the goal early. Um, I thought that hurt us. He really didn't. Uh, he wasn't that aggressive the last time we played him. Um, and, you know, but that's a good finisher inside. And, uh, you know, we just didn't cover them up enough. You know, we just, uh, so just you know, kind of said we made some real mental mistakes in that first half and on both ends of the field, and, and uh, not covering up the guy in size and making a mistake. And unfortunately, we made those mistakes. Scott Samstrong, ESPN. Having seen uh, Reeves twice now, what does he do that makes him so unique or tough to defend? For well, for one, he's a total package. I mean, he's six foot four. He's got to be about two hundred and twenty pounds, maybe two hundred twenty-five pounds. He's a big kid, very, uh, very athletic. Um, he runs with his head up. Uh, you know, he, he sees the field, so when you go to him, too, he's able to pass the ball. Um, you know, it's, it's one thing to be a good finisher or a good feeder, but he's got a combination of both. And uh, when you have a combination of both, like that, uh, it's tough to stop. And I thought he. Uh, you know, he, he showed uh, he showed why he's a senior, why he's on that tour and list uh, this year. You know, and uh, he's just a great player. In the back, first, Chris. Scotty, same question I had for Connor, just because it seemed to be like you guys were the last two to leave the field, and for good reason. Was it difficult? Am I reading that correctly? That it was difficult to leave the field today after it all it took to get here? Absolutely. We just uh, we wanted to be coming back on Monday. And uh, we had so much support from our fans, and we had three full sections there behind our, behind our bench that were just incredible, uh, the number of people that came out to support us. So, you know, I was just shaking some hands and saying thank you and, and finding different people to have. 
been supportive of us for, for a long time. And, and like Connor said, you know, we have so many of our alums uh, that are still involved in our, in our program and, and take so much time <coughs> what we do. So, um, you know, just you know, just want to say thank you and, and uh, you know, and, and take as much time as they could before we had to go in. But uh, you know, definitely, definitely wanted to. Uh, Scott, uh, was it hard to pull JD in the first quarter? Sure. He's a senior, you know, just been named first team All-American. Um, you know, again, it's, it's a team game, you know, not everything that JD matters <coughs> is his fault. Uh, some of those shots are right on top of him, you know, but we tried to, we just thought about taking him out and, and giving him a little bit of a break to kind of um, maybe just get his head together a little bit uh, for a couple of minutes. And I uh, thought Nate came in, did a great job, made a couple of saves, sparked our first goal. <coughs> um, so, you know, just wanted to make, uh, so give, give him a little bit of a break. He was kind of a barrage there, obviously, early in the game. And uh, again, you, you can't fall JD for shots putting, you know, five, six yards away. And then those guys are good shooters, obviously. So, you know, just, uh, you know, you feel for him. Um, you know, JD has uh, been coming to all the lacrosse games since he was about six years old. And JD always wanted to be a great Dane. And uh, I told him when we recruited him that he would take us to a Final Four at some point. And he did. So uh, it was a pretty cool story. In the back, first to the left. Yeah. Scott, you just mentioned JD and his journey here, but this entire senior class, what are they, all the other guys, mean to you? <clears throat> Honestly, it's just like any senior class I've had for the last 17 years. Um, you know, when you get to know kids for four years, you spend so much time with them um, throughout the course of that time, uh, you really become close to them. And, uh, Really, you know, just enjoy being around them. So the fact, like Connor says, that they're, that they're gone now and we don't have a chance to be together, um, it's always the saddest part about losing the senior class is that you just don't have this team together. Uh, this team bonded so well together this year. Uh, they worked so hard as a group, um, but our seniors did a really good job of leading our team. Uh, again, having those experiences as a senior class of playing in a couple of quarterfinals prior to, I think, really helped us going into last week's game. So again, they took our program to another level. We talked. We said it earlier. Kind of said the Thompsons were the ones who kind of got us to this point, and then this group now has taken us to the next level. So again, I, I appreciate all their efforts. In the back, Scott. A lot has been said about you know the senior class and what the players have been able to take away. Uh, for you and the coaching staff, what have you guys been able to take away from this week, this experience, playing on the stage? What can you take away from this? Um, and build on from from your end going forward and to get the team back here next year, year after that, so on. Well, I think for the young guys, it makes them, you know, it makes them hungry. It makes them understand uh, and, and see uh, being on this stage and uh, just, you know, having that opportunity you know, to, to play for a national championship. That's why we all play. And, uh, and I think it does, it gives them that, that, that look at, okay, as a freshman, sophomore, and now they want to get back to this level. And, uh, yeah, and, and get uh, you know, and, and, and keep making that next step. You know, kind of said maybe next year uh, you know, we're able to get this this game past us and, and get to the final. But um, it just it just serves as motivation. You know, now that they've seen it, you know, this is the first team to see it. Uh, once you've seen it, you know, I think you don't, you, know, you don't want to go back this soon. So you want to keep working hard to get to get back here and, and keep it going. Any other questions for Coach Mar? All right, thank you. Congratulations on the great season. Okay, one up front. One more. A lot is behind the emotions. Leaving the senior class, having this be the last game, the disappointment. Is, will you guys leave today with any regrets? Is no. Any? No, definitely not. I told him after the game, uh, the result isn't why you do it. You know, why you coach. Uh, you coach for the little things during the week. Which were the two times that you have them in the office, and so you have a, you know, we went to Dibby Kill before and I did a retreat for three days, and we had a chance to hang out together and with no phones and, uh, and just talking to them. And, and it's just, uh, you know, the result is the result. Okay, it's the effort that these guys put in and the attitude that they have towards every day and everyday life. And we're just trying to teach life lessons, and that's what this was today. It was a tough one, um, but, you know, at the end of the day, uh, it doesn't diminish how hard we work, you know, what, what kind of kids we have, the character that we have. And, you know, just, you know, just, like I said, just didn't play well. But that's not the end of the world. It's just a game. And, uh,
Thank you, Coach Mark. Thank you very Thanks much. Appreciate it, everybody.